Bismillahirrahmanirrahim We are on unit number 4 First aid First aid means Ibtadai Tibbi Imdad So as in any case, any other cases uh, The first thing you need to do is to Read the whole chapter, the whole lesson very carefully And make sure that you understand each and every word of this lesson once you have read this lesson and once you have understood this lesson then you will be able to do the exercises and understand the exercises completely so understanding the passage is the foremost important thing in this chapter you are going to learn about uh, cuts and scraps antibiotics dressings infections and most importantly you are going to learn about first aid kit so what are the things that are included in the first aid kit first aid box band-aids plastic bandages adhesive tapes antiseptics and so on there are 11 that you are going to learn to help you understand this lesson i am going to provide you complete translation of this lesson and complete word meanings of this lesson so you should not have any problem in understanding this passage this lesson once you have read it and once you have understood it only then you will move to exercise number a and what is exercise number a we are going to do it but make sure that uh, before moving to exercise a you read the lesson first understand the lesson first and uh, since i'm going to provide you the complete translation of this lesson and there should be no problem in understanding it make sure that uh, you have a pencil with you and you write the meaning of every difficult word uh, on the book right for example if you do not know the meaning of soothing or sunburns you will underline it and you will write the meaning of the difficult words on your book so that uh, you understand it well and you can uh, revise it whenever you need so after you uh, read the chapter read the lesson then you will do this exercise and this you will do on the book many fields have specialized vocabulary जो हर फील्ड की स्पेशलाइज्ड वैकेबलरी होती है ना उसको हम जार्गन्स कहते हैं जे ए आर जी ओ एन एस हर फील्ड का कुछ जार्गन होता है बैंकिंग का अलग जार्गन्स होंगे फाइनेंस के अलग जार्गन्स होंगे आइडेंटिफाई स्पेशलाइज्ड वैकेबलरी रिलेटेड टू द मेडिकल फील्ड इन द टेक्स्ट तो यहाँ पर हमने जो मेडिकल फील्ड से रिलेटेड जो इनके जार्गन्स हैं जो इनके स्पेशलाइज वर्ड्स हैं वी विल सी दैट स्क्रैप्स वट आई थिंक इट मीन्स आपको क्या लगता है इसको पहले के स्क्रैप्स क्या होते थे खराशे वगैरह हम कह सकते हैं कि स्मॉल कट्स वट डज इट मीन इट एक्चुअली मीन्स लाइट कट्स वही मीनिंग होता है ऑलमोस्ट इन्फेक्शन वी यूजली टेक इन्फेक्शन इन द मीनिंग ऑफ डिजीज बट एक्चुअली इट इज़ द एजेंट थ्रू विच द डिजीज ट्रांसफर्स सो यू विल राइट इट हेयर के इट इज़ द एजेंट थ्रू विच द डिजीज ट्रांसफर्स ऑइंटमेंट वी यूजली I mean ointment means we take cream, okay right, ointment means cream, but ointment is actually what in medical term, what ointment is, it is the medical paste for, to be used on skin. Then bandage, we usually mean bandage, bandage we usually mean strip, but what it actually means is, it is a strip of fabric to be tied around the wounds. Zakhmo ke gird jo hum patti baantte hai goos maat. Then dressing, usually what do we mean by dressing? Dressing means clothes, clothes, clothes. But what does dressing mean? In medical terms, the dressing means a piece of soft material tied around the wounds and cuts. So you will write it here. This is not a very important exercise, but anyhow, since we are not skipping any exercise, so we will do it. Then stitches, stitches we usually think that they are used by the टेलर्स कपड़े सीने के काम आते हैं सीविंग ऑफ क्लोथ्स बाई स्टिचेस वी यूजली मीन सीविंग ऑफ क्लोथ्स बट वट डू द स्टिचेज मीन इन मेडिकल टर्म्स दीज आर वट आर दीज शॉर्ट पीस ऑफ थ्रेड टू बी स्यूड अराउंड द कॉर्नर ऑफ अ वोट जख्म के इर्द गिर्द जो हम धागे से सी देते हैं दैट इज दो आर कॉल्ड स्टिचेज इन medical terms so this you will do on the book this is not a very important exercise 
then look at exercise number B complete the missing letter in the word below to match the meaning given on the right all these words have prefix this prefix kya hota hai jo word se pehle aata hai theek hai jaise dismiss disqualify so word se pehle jo hum uh, use kar rahe hote hain like this this is a called prefix aur words ke baad mein jab hum koi word laga ke uska meaning change kare that is called suffix so all these words have a prefix pre means pehle aana fix matlab saath lag jana सो प्रीफिक्स यानी कि वर्ड से पहले कोई वर्ड ऐड करके उसके मीनिंग जो एक नया वर्ड बन जाता है दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रीफिक्स सो हेयर वी विल यूज द प्रीफिक्स डिस लाइक दिस विल बिकम डिस लोकेट डिस लोकेट टू पुट आउट ऑफ प्लेस जगह से हिल जाना डिससेटिस्फाइड यू विल डू इट ऑन द बुक अगेन डिस्ट्रैक्ट डिसक्वालिफाई डिसबिलीव शक करना डाउट डिसक्वालीफाई मीन्स एक्सक्लूड कर देना निकल जाना जैसे किसी कॉम्पिटिशन से आप डिसक्वालीफाई हो जाते हैं डिसअप्रूव रिजेक्ट कर देना किसी चीज़ को ठीक है सो यू विल डू दीज वर्ड्स ऑन द बुक अगेन नाउ एक्सरसाइज नंबर सी नाउ यूज द अब वर्ड्स एंड सेंटेंसेस नाउ दिस यू विल डू इन द कॉपीज एक्सरसाइज सी यू विल डू ऑन द copies and again i am repeating that you will come to these exercises a b and c only after uh, you read the passage and you understand the passage now use the above words in the sentences i can help you there too try to make your own but let's discuss dislocate to put out of place his shoulder was dislocated after the accident his shoulder was or his knee was dislocated after uh, the accident dissatisfied the teacher was dissatisfied uh, from the assignment of the students distract divert tawajjo bad idhar udhar kar dena right the loud volume of uh, the television distracted me during my studies the loud volume of television distracted me during my studies so you will make your own sentences but you can take the help of this then disqualify the team was disqualified from the competition because of using drugs disbelieve to doubt he disbelieved my story disapprove reject kar dena he disapprove my proposal so this these are the sentences and you will try to make your own sentences and uh, that's it for now thank you